This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at balancing redox equations in acidic solutions. So here we have the equation that we're going to balance in acidic solution. The first step is to assign oxidation states to each of the species. So starting with the Fe2 plus ion, which has an oxidation state of plus 2. Next we have the Mn, which has an oxidation state of plus 7. The O has an oxidation state of negative 2. The Fe3 plus ion has an oxidation state of plus 3. And the Mn2 plus ion has an oxidation state of plus 2. So for the Fe2 plus ion, we have an increase in oxidation state from plus 2 to plus 3, which is oxidation. For the Mn, we have a decrease in oxidation state from plus 7 to plus 2, which is reduction. So the Fe2 plus ion is oxidized to the Fe3 plus ion with a loss of one electron. That leaves us with a half equation for the reduction of the MnO4 negative ion to form the Mn2 plus ion, which we'll look at next. So the first step in balancing this half equation is to balance for atoms other than hydrogen or oxygen. So if we look at the half equation, we can see that we have one Mn on the left and one Mn on the right. This means that we are balanced for atoms other than hydrogen or oxygen. The next step is to balance for oxygen by adding H2O. So on the left side of the equation we have four oxygen atoms and we've balanced that by adding four H2O on the right hand side. So we now have four oxygens on the right and four oxygens on the left. Step three is to balance for hydrogen by adding H plus ions. So when we added the four H2O on the right hand side, we also added eight hydrogens. So we balance this by adding eight hydrogen ions on the left hand side of the equation. In step four, we balance for charge by adding electrons. So in the left hand side of the equation, we had eight positive hydrogen ions and one negative MnO4 negative ion. On the right hand side of the equation we had a manganese ion with a 2 plus charge. So to balance for charge we add 5 electrons to the left hand side of the equation. This gives us overall a 2 positive charge on the left hand side and a 2 positive charge on the right hand side. The final step is to balance for electrons and combine the two half equations. So here we have the equation for the oxidation of the Fe2 plus to form the Fe3 plus ion. The number of electrons in the two half equations must be the same. In order to get the same number of electrons in both half equations, I've multiplied everything in the top equation by 5. This gives us 5 Fe2 plus, 5 Fe3 plus and 5 electrons. We then cancel out the electrons and combine the two half equations. So here we have the balanced redox equation in acidic solution. We have 5 Fe2 plus plus 8H plus plus MnO4 negative forms Mn2 plus plus 4H2O plus 5 Fe3 plus.